On a Friday afternoon, um, we received a tweet from a researcher at Google. There was a, a bug in our system that would cause data from customers to get leaked onto the internet. Luckily, the problem was discovered by Project Zero, Google's in-house team of white hat hackers. Had this been found first by a malicious hacker, they could have caused a lot of harm. Created in 2014, Project Zero is charged with finding flaws in other companies' code. Google calls it an altruistic venture that's making the internet a better place. But many companies are using this same model to make money. So when you're at the National Security Agency, you certainly gain an appreciation for just how sophisticated adversary is that we're ultimately trying to defend against every single day. My job at the NSA was focused on supporting state-sponsored hacking type of work for intelligence. Jay Kaplan co-founded Synac, a security company that pairs corporate clients with friendly hackers. It's a crowdsourced bug bounty platform. The hackers find cyber bugs, and the companies, including the IRS and Department of Defense, offer a payout. A lot of companies are relying on technologies of the past. They need to up-level their game. It really only takes one vulnerability or one way to get into that organization. More and more hackers are taking advantage of those vulnerabilities. The recent hacking. Cyber attacks and foreign intervention. The global hack attack. The hackers. Massive cyber attack. Attacks on the US government and American companies almost doubled in 2016. We believe that the only way you can defend against a Russian hacker is by actually bringing a Russian hacker on your side. People in different countries or hackers in different countries, they have very different methodologies and ways about going and attacking an organization. When I found a weakness in Facebook, I didn't dig further. I didn't try to figure out whether I could access the main server with the user's database. Andrew Leonov is a Russian white hat hacker. In January 2017, he found a Facebook bug that landed him $40,000, the highest bounty ever paid by Facebook. He is active on several bounty platforms, including Synac. He said companies are becoming more open to bug hunters. In 2012 to 2014, if I found a vulnerability somewhere, I'd think a hundred times before submitting it. I could never predict the reaction. It could fall anywhere between indifference and aggression. But not everyone sees value in these bounty programs. 99% of what gets submitted is, is not actually that useful. How do you separate the signal from the noise? And how do you make sure that that 1%, which is actually incredibly valuable, that surfaces? No matter how they approach it, companies are upping the amount they spend on cybersecurity. And that's good news for companies like Kaplan's. There are certain industries that are investing very heavily in cybersecurity and more so than other industries. You take financial services um, as an example of that. But the reality is most industries are pretty behind. You look at healthcare, um, you look at retail, um, you look at consumer goods. We're definitely going to see cybersecurity spend increase um, over the next 10 years until the attackers stop attacking us, we're going to continue to need to invest more and more into our defenses.